everybody. I'm a little late getting on this morning. I have a three-year-old inside. <laughs> Didn't quite make it before the kids woke up today, but he is now happy with some food and some TV. So I don't know. We might we might find someone on board on Pilates patio with us. Oh, little three-year-old. But anyway. Hi, thank you for watching those of you who are live. Hey, Lisa uh, and Kennedy. Hey, girl. Um, I know Facebook Live reverses um, reverses this, so but surely you can read this shirt backwards. This is the May the 4th edition of Pilates Live on my back patio. Try to do Princess Leia buns, but you see I have ugh, not enough hair at all. It, they looked weird, so I took them out. Uh, we'll start standing. We're gonna do a standing section, but we'll still get down to the mat too. So, all right, let's get started. <clears throat> Here I am. So, start standing with your legs about sit bone distance apart, comfortable distance. Uh, let's just take some little shoulder rolls back. If you did class yesterday, which I know you two did, Shrug the shoulders up, roll them back. Taking an inhale on the up. And roll it up. Roll it out, it's Monday morning. Whew. Take your fingertips to your shoulders now. We'll take the elbows up, open them back. Wake it up. Finish that with arm circles, up, open and back, inhaling and exhaling. Uh, shake that out a little bit. We'll go into, let's take those breaths up with the arm, looking up and then head looking down. We'll take four of these, inhale up. Exhale down. You can practice your Pilates breathing. Keep the belly tight on your inhale. Exhale. Pull the belly button in even more. Yeah, I'm going to do one more. And down. Now we're going to take our right arm up overhead. A little lateral or side bend. Sorry, I can't talk this morning. <laughs> Over to the side. This arm is just resting on this time. Take it up, other side. Now we're going to add, since this flow is a little bit influenced by ballet, we're going to add a little curve of the arms here, a little C curve on top and the opposite C curve on the bottom. If you can, if you like, if you don't like, you could go back to this. Coming up, reaching sideways, other side. Curve and curve in the arm. I wish I could see you guys. That's the downfall of a Facebook Live and the benefit of a Zoom is I could actually see you. Mm. And coming back up, shake out those arms. We're gonna go down to the, the feet now. So we're standing on our, using our Pilates abs, little tiny bend in the knees so we're not locking the legs. We're just gonna press the right heel up and down and then the left heel and down so it's a little prance but really just moving through the ankle stretching the ball of the foot take your hands to your hips Ooh, excuse me good morning press and press oh i just did opposite i realized whichever side you're on doesn't matter i am not used to facebook how they reverse it for me because I have taught dance for years where I reversed and I did my right and said, hey, it's left and left and said right. So that's going to be weird. Anyway, whatever side you're on, let's see. Pause. We're going to actually rise up on both heels, lower down on one while you push the other one into that stretch. So it's still a prance, but now we have a little up in the middle instead of staying down. I'll show you from the side one time. Up, relevé, prance, 
front. That way. I'll go back to this way. And let's do one more on each side. Continuing the version we just did, but we're gonna add a double knee bend. So now when this knee bends, the other knee's gonna bend on the bottom. We're gonna rise up and then bend. Woo! You probably couldn't hear that crack with my ankle. Mmm, nice crack. Things might be popping and crackling, that's okay. We're warming them up. <laughs> and crack, and crack. Now your lower legs, ankles, feet should be getting nice and warm. Uh, we'll do one more. And then we'll take a little double knee bend, shake out the legs. Maintain your balance. Let's take your right leg forward. Just a little bit off the ground, let's circle that ankle around. Now this is a good balance, simple balance challenge here. Circle the other way. If you need to, you can always grab onto a piece of furniture or the wall, whatever. And place it down. Other leg out. Ankle circle around. And reverse. Ooh, one side is probably trickier to balance on than the other. Now we're gonna change our position from our parallel neutral pose to a Pilates V. So don't think first position in dance, we think first position, heels together, toes apart, and it's really open. But for Pilates V, we're just a gentle, natural, wherever your hips and legs can turn you out. Heels are together, toes are apart. It could be as small as this. We're gonna go back and repeat the whole little prancing section. Ooh, so just raising the heel, one heel, then the other. I did it again, started with my left. Oh, well, maybe Star Wars day is start left day. <laughs> we used to have that in ballet class every once in a while. Instead of always starting on our right side, we'd have a whole class where we started left first. Always threw me off though, it's weird. <laughs> anyway, hi, whoever just joined. I can't see you because I'm too far with my phone, but I'm glad you're here. All right, we're gonna go into the second version of our little prance. This uh, is influenced by dance today. So uh, after we press our heel up, we're, instead of just going flat, we're gonna rise up on both feet and then press the other leg. Now you don't have to do these fun arms with me, you could. I was trying to think of Star Wars characters and places to like call all the moves today, but I was doing it at 11 o'clock last night, so no. <laughs> Uh, it didn't happen, but maybe next year I'll prepare a whole Star Wars class. Anyway, we're gonna add a double plie now. So when this knee bends, this knee's gonna bend. We'll raise up and bend. Again, it's okay if you need to hold onto a wall or a piece of furniture. Just bend and bend. And we already did this in parallel, so your, your legs should be, whoo, yeah, nice warm. Let's do one more on each side and come back, give that leg a good shake, shake, shake. Uh, we're gonna get a nice deep stretch in the, in the legs here. We're gonna do a roll down. Y'all can stay facing your screens. I'll go sideways. Uh, those legs are about sit bone distance apart. Easy knees. Like you're stacked up against the wall. We're gonna exhale, drop the chin to the chest and start to peel each vertebra one at a time, scooping your belly in, hang it over. Oh, when you can bend your knees as much as you need to to be comfortable here. It's the morning, you're probably a little tight. Take a breath in on the bottom and then exhale, tailbone starts to roll you back up. You get that tailbone in line, start to straighten up. Head's gonna be elastic. So look forward and we're gonna do that again. Inhale, exhale, roll it down. Scoop the belly in and up. Bend the knees a little bit. As you get further down, you may need to bend them a lot. Take a breath in on the bottom. Exhale, roll up. We'll do that one more time. We'll add a little arm reach here at the top this time. Inhale up. Exhale. Rolling down. And we're gonna stay at the bottom and stretch our legs. If this is comfortable for you, we're gonna actually drop our tailbone all the way down so your heels are gonna raise off the floor a little bit. And you've got the weight in the balls of your feet, right? We're gonna walk the weight a little bit more into our hands. 
and shift forward onto your toes. Hopefully you can see that. And then back onto the balls of your feet. This is a really good stretch for all the tiny muscles in the bottom of your feet. Now, it is hard on the knees though, so if that hurts your knees, you can do it with your tailbone higher. You don't get quite the amount of um, stretch into the feet, but you still get a stretch. So option B, option A, with the hips down. This is one I used to do before dance class all the time. Work out those toes and ankles. All right. I believe we're going to go down to our hands and knees for a second. Yes. Okay. Shake. Shake. Hands and knees. If you were with us uh, for class yesterday, which I know some of you were, we did that glorious knee hover. So, hey, we are going to do the knee hover again here. We're going to tuck those toes, which are nice and warm now. We're in a neutral spine, so I have my Star Wars shirt on, shirt on so it's a little baggy, but you're pulling your belly button in and up. We're going to exhale, press into the mat on our toes, lift those knees, see they're hovering just an inch off the mat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're actually holding this for about three breath cycles today, so that's inhaling and exhaling three times. And then we'll lower the legs down, untuck the toes, sit back for a stretch in child's pose. And then we're going to come back to our hands and knees. We're going to, I'm going to add the reverse knee fold. If that's too much for you when you see it, just stay with the version we did where the knees hover and stay. So inhale to prepare, exhale, hover the legs over the knees over the back. Then if you would like, you can take the right leg back to a 90 degree fold and replace and the left and down. Of course, your gaze is looking towards your mat. I keep turning towards the camera so you can hopefully hear better. We're doing four sets if you're following along with that. If you're doing the regular hover, go ahead and do the three breaths or even four maybe and then lower down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lower down. I'm going to widen my knees a little wider for my child's pose this time. Sit the tailbone back. Really reach those arms out. And now you can take a nice deep belly breath. Let it hang out. All right, if that was hard on your wrist, you can shake those out. We are going to go to a quick down dog. Again, to get a nice stretch in the back of those legs, it got really warm. So, tailbone back, shoulders away from the ears. See, I'm bending my knees a lot because it's morning and <laughs> my legs are kind of stiff Whew. today. So, it's better to have the tailbone back and your back nice and stretched and your knees bent and work on straightening those than try to get straight legs. See, if I did straight, I have to be this far forward in my down dog. So, just a little tidbits there. Walk in your down dog. And then we're going to walk our hands into our feet because we got one more set to do standing today. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Pull the shoulders back when you get up. Oh, shake it out. All right. Now, standing. Hmm. I think I want to do. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes to decide. Okay. We'll do this in second position first because that's the way I wrote it down. Second position, if you're not a dancer, you're just standing wide. So, this would be better if I actually had a yoga sticky mat. I have my cushy Pilates mat. It's a little stretchy, but it should work. Toes are pointed towards the corners of your mat, so they're in that same little Pilates V turnout, but we've just taken a big step. I'm going to do four plies. Option one with your hands. Just take your hands to your hips. If you've ever done a little bar class, probably this can be familiar because bar is influenced by ballet. And what I'm doing today is a little bit of ballet influence, Pilates. And then we're going to pulse, two, three. So you're staying low, seeing those little knee bends. Now, if you want to add the more balletic arms, like you're holding a big Easter egg, we reach the arms out, we drop the egg, and pick it up. Or hold the beach ball, drop the beach ball. <laughs> Whatever imagery you like. These are our demi plies. One more. And then we'll do eight pulses down. Just hold the arms round, or remember you can be here. Either way. I mean, you could be here too. I mean, as long as whatever works for you. And I lost count. I think we did more than eight, but that's okay. Stretch up. 
Now, ah, wait, stay here. We're gonna do a plie, but we're gonna raise, ah, I'll do it right way, the right heel. There we go. Do my actual right foot, <laughs> then left. And then right, so there's that forced arch prancing we did already in our warm up, but now we're adding the plie. Then both heels, if you can, are gonna raise and take the pulses. One, two, three. It's okay if they're just a tiny bit off the ground. Eight, and we repeat that one more time. Again, you can add fancy arms, or you can keep your hands on your hips. This is three, and this is four. And if the double heel raise for the pulses is too much, you can do that with your heels down again. Either way. I just said that a lot, right? Either way. All right, lower down. Turn your toes in towards the long side of your mat if you're on a mat, towards the camera. And uh, let's take easy knee bend, let's actually roll down. Exhale, do that roll down through your spine. Give the back of your legs a little bit of a rest. Maybe bend one knee and the other, shift it, wiggle around. And I'm gonna roll up through the spine, guess what? We're gonna walk our feet in and we're gonna repeat that from the little Pilates V. So now our heels are together. Uh, now, one thing that's gonna be different, if you have done bar class, a lot of times bar classes will raise up and then kiss their heels together and hold them tight while they're doing the pulses. But since we are gonna be going up and down and pulsing, we're just gonna leave our legs apart for that, for today, anyway. Okay, so here we are, hands on the hips first for four plies. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't start my timer today. Oh, well, I'll just have to look at the time and go to like 8.30 or something, 8.25, <laughs> pulse. Five, six, seven, eight. Repeat with the arms. Uh-oh, other children are looking at me through the door. Go get your cereal out. Pulse. Okay, just wait till I'm done teaching. Oh, I love you. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens here at live class. All right, we're gonna add that raise. Raise the heel. Oh, I see the left again. Gears. Whichever leg you started with is fine. Oh man, guys. This class may get cut short if the children cannot find their own breakfast food and stay in time. And now Pulse is raising the heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo, one more time with the arms with the fancy heel raise. Clear Pilates V. If you're like, what the, this is legs. Yes, we'll stretch those legs soon at the end. <laughs> Let's do one more on each leg here and then we'll finish those pulses and that'll be the end of the side. Ready, raise the heels and one, two, three. Oh, I'm taking my arms up here. Seven, eight, and lower down. All right, your legs should be kind of on fire. If they're not, you got super, super strong legs. That's good. All right, let's actually take, I'm gonna like break from my notes real quick. I feel like we should take a little stretch, kind of a yoga stretch here. If you step to the side with your right leg and it's towards the short end of your mat, step back with your left towards the long end of your mat. This is our little warrior position. Just feel like we need to take a little. Now, maybe this doesn't feel good to you. Maybe your legs are like, I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep it moving. Move through this little warrior. Take a little stretch here. Let's take the left arm over for a little side angle stretch. Oh, that's good. And just follow along if you can. Uh, back hip's gonna reach towards the back of your mat. You're gonna reach, reach, reach out here little triangle pose from yoga. I'm just gonna stretch right in there in that leg we just worked. We're gonna drop the top arm down and we're gonna step in halfway with the back heel or back foot, also turning in parallel. Now, if I had a block, I would be up on blocks here if I was doing yoga class. So I'm gonna actually raise to my shin. If you can reach the mat, that's great. Mm, that feels a little bit too stretchy for me right now. Step the back foot in to meet the front, roll up. Now we gotta reverse that for our other leg. So warrior two, left toes to the short end, right toes to the long end. Nice and long here. Not teaching yoga class, but we are throwing this yoga in. 
We're gonna straighten the front knee, reach up, exhale, bend. About four times. Okay, I think my eight-year-old is up now. I think she's gonna help get breakfast, other things for the kids, so uh, we may be okay. Back arms gonna reach over on the top here, little extreme side angle. Good, and then we're gonna go into triangle, so with a stretched front knee, let the back hip reach out, reach, reach, reach. <sighs> Lowering the top arm down, stepping it about halfway, pyramid pose. And if you hear all that hullabaloo, that's my trash can man. The garbage man is here. Stretching. All right, step the back foot in, roll it up, shake it out. So my watch says 8:23. Let's just do one more. I'm gonna have to look at. I always over prepare, so let me cut out some things. But let's do while we're standing. I guess this is a standing day. I'm gonna throw in a little element from standing Pilates. There's a whole technique where you can do Pilates just standing up. So I'm gonna show you from the side. Y'all stay facing the the camera. Uh, so our legs are that sit bone distance apart, right? We're gonna do standing hundreds. So we already know in the hundreds we have a nice, short, stiff uh, arm movement here, pulsing. We have a sniffing breath in for five and out for five, right? We're gonna keep the belly in. So we usually do it laying down. We're gonna take a little easy knee bend, take the arms overhead like you were laying down flat on your mat. You're gonna exhale, curve the head and shoulders and chest. So this is like that curve up Step. now we're curving over right just right here and you really the more energy you feel like someone's doing that ice cream scoop into your belly in and up you're breathing in and out in keep the belly in pull it in more in out one more here we're gonna add on if you like the option to stretch one leg my toes on the ground but it challenges your belts and your core a little bit more. Now, if you need more challenge, take that leg off the mat. So my gaze is down towards my belly or towards straight down towards the mat. We're gonna do a little bit more than 100 here just to see the different options. We're gonna lower that leg down. We're gonna take the other toe out, breathing in. Stiff arms. Now raise the leg if you want that challenge or keep the toes down. Ooh, last one. And lower down. I have a ch challenge there on that side. I noticed keeping my hips even. So there's a lot that goes into standing Pilates. But shake it out real fast. Um, let's go into, we will actually go down on the mat to finish. We're going to throw in just a tiny bit more Pilates and a leg stretch. So I'm going to sit this way because you can see me better. You can absolutely be legs on your mat. We're going to go into the twist. So for the twist, ideally your legs are straight, toes turned up to the ceiling. And what you don't want to happen is when you twist your pelvis to shift and you'll notice that in your feet where they shift different distances. Uh, instead, we want the feet to stay the same distance like they're against the wall because the hips are staying and we're twisting from the waistline. So this is a good exercise to trim in the waist. Now, if you can't get straight legs, and a tall back, I'd rather have the tall spine bend your knees a little bit. More important about the spine. So, inhale, let's take hands to the shoulders first. Exhale, a little double twist to the right. Inhale, center, twist, twist, left. Twist, and now the garbage man is in the neighborhood right behind us. <laughs> hey, now I know when I do lives on my back porch on Monday, I need to do them a little earlier. Twist, twist. And now if you want to add the arms reaching all the way out, twist, twist. Keep an eye on your feet as you twist. Are they staying still? Let's do one more. And twist, twist, center. Okay, good. Going into the spine stretch forward. I will go this direction for this. Your legs are about sit bone distance apart. Easy knees, relaxed feet, sitting tall. Uh, let's actually slide the hands down the legs. 
So again, like someone's scooping into your belly button or punching you in the tummy, you're gonna exhale, feel that roundness curve over that stomach, down, and then we're gonna roll up, stack the spine, back up. Exhale, scoop into the belly, rolling forward. Spine stretch here because we're stretching, but then on the way up, we're feeling even taller, taller, taller in our back. Two more of these, exhale. This is classic Pilates now again. And roll it up. And last one. Exhale. Scoop. And roll it up. Okay, shake it out. I'm sure the trash man doesn't sound as loud to you as it does to me. Anyway, I think it's funny. Soles the feet together. We're going to take a little butterfly here. Just relax those hips. We're finishing out with a few stretches. And then I'll have to check on those kids who are milling around inside on their own. Let's stretch forward with nice flat back as long as you can and then relax over. Take a nice breath. Roll it back up to sit tall. Let's take the right leg out to the side. Left leg is going to stay in. I believe we did the half straddle stretch in one of the other workouts. So we're gonna do that again, but I'm gonna add something fun on. So we have our side bend over the leg. And now we're gonna take this left hand into the mat, only if it's okay for your knee. We're gonna push the pelvis forward, shifting our weight up onto the knee and the hand, reach long. There's a, kind of that same feeling we had in the yoga side stretch. Long all the way down to our toes, drop the hips down. We'll repeat that. I usually call that rainbow stretch when I do it in my dance classes. So, rainbow stretch. Hand down, shift up. Now, if the pelvis shift doesn't work, you just take it here and keep the hips down. But if you can reach up and even a slightly back, like a little arch, oh, you can get a nice stretch through the side body there. Okay, other leg. And there's the train. <laughs> side stretch. And stretching away, lifting the hips, if you like that version. Drop it down, stretch over. And one more time, we'll lift the hips up. And lower down. And shake, shake, shake it out. I think we will end our class there since I only promised you 20-ish minutes. Pretty much think we met that. I gotta go and check on the kids. But anyway, thank you for joining. Thanks for watching live. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ooh, bugs. <laughs> and of course, like and follow the page. Um, anything I post on YouTube and my blog will also come to the Facebook page. So whatever you like. See you tomorrow for the last one.